once again, if I want to write an equation of the line so that I can find a missing value, for today I want you to make a quick sketch. So, y-axis, x-axis, We're using a lot of X territory. So we got negative 53, 9. It's going to be in our second quadrant. We got negative 31, negative 2. Gonna be in our third quadrant. Maybe something like this. Backwards a whole ton. Up nine. Backwards a little bit more than half of that distance. That'd be the halfway point. A little bit more than halfway down hardly at all. That's our two points. Question. When is our Y value going to be 45? Alright, so you can see you know this, that you want, you want to have a bigger negative number, right? In order for y to be 45, we got to have a bigger negative x, right? A really big negative x, maybe, maybe past 200. So that will help us with our checking for reasonableness. But all right, let's write, a, let's write an equation. To get from one point to another, to get from my first point to my second point, I'm going down 11 right? 9, to get from 9 down to 0, I go down 9, and then down 2 more. And to get from one point to the next, from negative 53 forward to negative 31, we're going forward 22. That's convenient. Okay, so slope of that line will be down 11 divided by forward 22 or negative 1 half. Equation y equals slope times x plus adjustment. We also know that our adjustment should probably be negative, right? Negative, because it's crossing the y-axis in negative territory. So that also can help us check ourselves. How do I figure out what that adjustment is? I'm going to use one of my two points. So let me use the one with the smaller numbers y is negative 2 when x is negative 31. I negative 2 equals negative times a negative is a positive. It's going to be 15.5. Half of 31, 15.5 plus an adjustment we need to lose 15 and a half and then lose two more. So our adjustment is minus 17 and a half. That then is our formula. Let me double check that it works with a calculator. Uh, negative one half times negative 53 
is 26.5. 26.5 minus 17.5 is 9, which is exactly what we would expect it to be if the line goes through that point over there. So we're all good with the formula. Now we can use the formula to uh, find this missing value. When y equals 45, what does x have to be? That's a nice, simple two-step equation. Let me add 17 and a half to both sides. So we got 55, 62.5 equals negative one half x. And then let me multiply both sides by negative two. Got negative 125 equals x. Double checking that in a calculator. Negative one half times negative 125 minus 17.5 equals 45. Exactly what I'm looking for. Cool. Nice and simple.